Welcome, today I'm gonna to teach you how to play a snare break from Cold Steel Drumline from North Carolina, and it goes just like this. So this snare break, very quick, a lot of notes, and we've got a couple of fancy things like the thumb roll, some back sticks. Remember, as with all of these lessons, learn it real slow, eventually you'll get there. Let's go straight on that first bar. You can see it starts with two inverts. Then we do a flam drag. So that's gonna give us, and if I put one more right hand in there, we get the release. Do a few of those. Now the next thing that happens is a thumb spin. Now if you can do the thumb spin, jump straight in on this. If you've never done a thumb spin before and you want me to do a lesson on that, just type in yes below the comments on YouTube and I'll do a lesson on that. If you can't do a thumb spin and you've got no interest in doing that, you can just leave this part out, this part out, and instead just play them sticking this down. Now you can see the sticking is essentially right, left, right, right, followed by right, left, right, right. Well that's two parrots, isn't it? Para, diddle, para, diddle. Now, whether we do the thumb spin or not, we're gonna end that section with a left hand press. So it's gonna go right, left, right, 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 left, right, right, sorry, right, left, right, 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 left, right, right, press, like that. So get used to that. Now those who can do the thumb spin on those three right hands, right, left, right, 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 we do the thumb spin there. Right, left, right, right, right. Now I'm caught the stick here, so at that point now I go left, right, right, and back down. So the thumb spin comes round, and then we do that left, right, right, left. This is a hard bit, man, I drop a lot of these. Let me drop that one. It's a bit easier, faster, because I can get that thumb spin around a little bit quicker, so If you need to, pause the video right now and watch that. I try that 10 million thousand times. You'll get that eventually, I promise you, right? So the next bar, we start off with, with this pattern that goes left, right, right, left, left. Left, right, right, left, left. In this left, right, right, left, left position here. Left, right, right, left, left. So just get used to that. Now then we're gonna be doing this thing here. Oh. Now because we're just doing doubles, we're gonna go buzz, right, right but the second right is gonna also be a buzz. So we're going buzz, right, buzz. That'd be easier to just read. If I do a lot in a row, you're gonna get that. Maybe that's something to practice. So everything's a press, apart from hitting the stick. Buzz. So we get. Right, right. So we get a double right, we spin this bit round this way, and we end with a left. So it's gonna give us. Again, this was a part that took me ages to get to use this. Now, I think, because he's one of the heads of this drum line, Harvey Thompson from BYOS, probably wrote this, because the sort of stuff that he is insane at, right? If you know no idea who he is, type his name into the internet. Go search after this lesson. So that pattern there leads us into a diddled choo-choo. Well, choo-choo is um, like a parry diddle but with a flam. But we're gonna diddle it. And then with the right hand, flam. That starts us off with two cheeses and the first cheese is a single. The second one is a three, then we the flap, so it's gonna go. So then, the little choo-choo with those on. So that bar, You can see that the diddle choo-choo isn't on a downbeat, it's right before the downbeat. So I'm gonna do this to a metronome. The actual 
um, snare break is something like 120 beats a minute. Right, today we're going to do a slow one, 80, 90, and 110. That one I played at the start for you is about 120. So if we start at 80, that's sort of our speed, still pretty quick. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Last time, man. Now, if you ever can't get this stuff I'm showing you when you're on YouTube, go down to the bottom, there's a thing that looks like a cog, click on that, and you can actually change the speed settings in there, play it even slower. Right, next bar, we start off with um, a diddled windmill, so windmills. That's that rudiment. We're gonna start with, and then a diddle in there. So you can either think of a flam tap, with a drag afterwards, or you can think if you did a windmill. This was another part that my hands did not want to play this way around. This took a lot of reps, a lot of reps, to get this comfortable. Well, this whole bar did, because the next thing for me was the hardest thing in the whole piece to learn. So the next bit goes. Now they're playing it quite low because it's so fast. But if you look at the pattern, we're going right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, left. left left, left, left. Now we're going to diddle the right. Now we're going to play the diddle low. Now that left's going to kind of drop. Now play a bit lower. Now we've got to cheese that first note. Now that part there, that took me an age to get. I really did. Right, so if we try that part, that's the first three counts of that. And again. Now this ends with six notes, I was called hickory dickory darker, right? Where we're basically going. So for those, if you couldn't catch that, we're going back, back, normal, normal, back, back, normal. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop. This is pretty insanely fast. That's kind of speed. So what we, so we got is. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Right, if I do that the Met. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So the whole of that line, remember, we're starting this way, goes. Ooh, I need to mess that up again. Three, four. Two, three, four. Last time, three, four. Whenever I'm learning these, some of these I learn quickly, some of these take forever. This one took forever, I'm not gonna lie, right? This one took a long time. Whenever I'm learning some, basically I know that if I can play it from start to end, even if it is half the speed of the original one, I'll eventually just get it. I've got to get it in my mind as a tune. So when you first learn this moment, it's just a bunch of random rights and lefts and flams. If you play it enough times, you'll start to kind of hear a tune in there. Once you've got a tune in your head, I promise you'll be able to play anything. Just learn it crazy slow, get faster, eventually you'll get there. Right, next bar. So a little bit of fancy stuff for us there. We've got a start off with one and a two. Right, 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 left. Right, 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 left. Again, we've got a diddle choo-choo. So that gives us one and a two E and a one and a two E and a. Now this next bit we're doing a column, which is when you do this with your stick, but we're doing the column to the side because the other hand is going to come over and also do a column. So I've got to switch my hand all the way from here, all the way over to this position here. So both my beads are facing upwards, so I can then go um, ba -ba, right left. Now they're not too worried by the look of it in the video to really get a lot of volume with these. It's more of a visual thing than anything else. Now from this point here, this is where the practice might be needed, we've got to do a forward catch. Well, a forward catch is when you're throwing the stick this way. So I'm going to be going like that. Now it's only half of a throw. So I'm literally just pushing it forward on my thumb as I throw it and then catching. So I've got to do that with this stick, my left hand still here. So I've gone, da-da, I'm throwing and catching. And then all I'm doing with my left hand here is going to come out 
all the way into traditional grip, back down here, and my right hand is simply gonna drop down here. I'm gonna hit the drum, I play right, left, and after playing the right hand, my right hand spins, so then eventually we get back to this. So you might spend a minute now to figure that out. So we're going da da, we spin the right. As we come back out, we go right, left, and we spin the right back to this position, we're ready to go, right? That's gonna be in time with the music, but don't worry about that to start with, right? We've got catch, da, da. So the right one actually spins after da, da. Now they, I've got a bit of a habit of spinning this slightly like this, right? But they're, they're doing a, um, a half spin this way, I believe anyway, right? So spin, da, da. Now that means I'm playing all the way to the second count in the next bar. It makes sense with a mat. One, two, three, four. Catch. One, I played that wrong. Three, four. Catch, da, da. No, I played it right. Three, four. Catch. Flam. Three, four. Right, now that part there, it's gonna be pretty quick. So you just gotta be careful your hands don't hit each other. Now this flam then that I'm doing, it's coming on count two of the next bar. So we're gonna go one, two triplet. One, two triplet. So it's the only triplet I think in the song. I'm gonna end with a single right hand. One, two triplet, right. And it's kind of decrescendo. One, two triplet, right. Now what we're doing there is going to 16th notes. One, uh, three, e under, four, e under, one. But we're going. I think that's a rim shot. If it's not a rim shot then. It's an accent. Three e and a four e and a one. So with that part in mind, we've got one, two triplet, three e and a four e and a one, one, two triplet, three e and a four e and a one. Now, but you could practice starting this way round and getting used to the stick spin here. So you could go one, two triplet, three e and a four e and a one. If we go out with the met, two back, three, four, one, oh, three, three, four. One, two, trip, uh, three, e and a four, e and a one. And again, two, three, four, one, two, trip, uh, three, e and a four, e and a one. Two, last time, three, four, one, two, trip, uh, three, e and a four, e and a one. So that line. Catch, da, 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 Next line, right, we start this off with a seven stroke roll. Back onto the right hand. Sorry. One E and there, two E and. One E and there, two E and. Then we've got a nice little flam pattern. So we've got this little switching hand pattern, left, right, left, right, and then we've got a flam drag. And then we've got a Swiss army, Swiss, yeah, Swiss flam drag which means the diddles on the same hand as a flam, and then two flams to end, all right? So if I just run that bit. So the, the, the whole of that bar. With the mat. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Now this next bar starts with the tap roll. Left hand, but it's a flam tap roll. And there's a pattern that goes Just left, right, left, right at the end. Then we've got possibly the hardest rudiment in it. We've got some touch eases, right? So touch eases are where we play, uh, we're basically playing hand hand triplets. We're diddling the second note, but that note isn't just a diddle, it's a cheese. So there's two of those, and then just a normal cheese back to the right hand. So touchies, touchies, cheese, right. No flat at the end. Tap. Let's try 
by that bar. From there. We go. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Last time. Hold that line. Three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. We'll mess that one up. Do that one again. Two, three, four. Okay, final line. Before I do the final line, favor to ask. So, if you've got anything out of this lesson, if you've got any from my lessons ever and you're not subscribed, something like 63, 64% of you are not subscribed and watching my lessons regularly, please, please, please subscribe. Right? It helps me want doing these and the more subscribers I get, the more of these videos I'm gonna do. Last line, we start off with this nice little pattern here. So that's gonna be Swiss, Swiss triplets, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, but we're doing one crossed over, like that, and then one, just a back stick. And these are pretty quick, so you gotta make sure you've got these, nice and low, so we don't want up here, right? And that bar finishes out then with uh, my screen is just switched off, so I'm just gonna. No, it's a mouse. I don't want to teach you wrong. Right, so we've got. So that last bit is two sixteenth notes. And then two paradiddles. Well, the speed of those two notes there is the same speed, speed as the paradiddles. So 30 second notes. Sticks in, and they do a nice little one of these to look cool at the end, right? So we've got in, down. Let's do this with it. So, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, and that is the whole of the uh, drum break, snare break um, tour. So next stage is to be able to play it from start to end. Now I can't say this enough times, right? If you can play it slow from start to end, that is good enough. Just go slow, slow, slow for as long as you can until you memorize it, then you get it faster. I'm gonna do it three speeds today. I'm gonna go 80, 90, and 110 beats per minute. Let's jump straight into 80 beats a minute. Right, let's take it up. So it's actually harder at that speed, 90 be a bit easier, so. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four.
200. Let's go there, 110. Let's go one more. So hopefully that is enough for you guys to get playing this start to end. If you enjoyed this lesson, please let me know. Leave me something in the comments. Maybe like, subscribe for other lessons. Go check out my books. I look forward to seeing you in another lesson real soon. Thanks for watching.